My name is Alika, and I'll tell you a story where I come from and what's my country name, where my family come from too. So get your listening ears and just relax. Um, I come from Millstream. That's an entry party place. That's where my grandfather came and my grandmother. Now we, me and my sisters and brothers, now it's our turn to look after the country. And we like to go swimming there, we like to go fishing. Sometimes we like to go slide around on the slippery ground. Nana, she took me in her arms when I was a baby. She took me to have a little swim with her. I walked to the water at Deep Bridge and I tripped, I fall in the water, I was drowning. Nobody couldn't see me, only the serpent at Deep Bridge. And the water serpent, you can't see it because he is very, very black and and his eyes, he got a nice orange color eyes. Every time when you open his eye, you always see oranges. Orange eyes looking at you. He lift me up by his tail and just let me go. And I walked him, my nana wet. When I looked back in the water, that serpent was watching me. And he went back down deep, deep in the, the river. And I like to be there to remember him when I was a baby. And the water serpent is my best friend. And he always be there for me, and I always be there for him. And Wendy is my Gauli. Gauli means Nana, and it's from my dad's side. An Indian body word, and, and she's my dad's mother. Yeah, it's nice to call her Gauli. She said, when you go to Millstream, you make sure you say Wandiwa and Mura. That's how you say hello and welcome to, to your country in Millstream. So you always say Wandiwa, Mura. I want to come in your country to be with you. And I really want to respect you and come to be in your, in your arms, jump in the water and swim around. So you always gotta say that when you go to the stream and deep bridge. I care about that place because my brother Ian, he died there. He died there when he was a baby. He died last year and we had his funeral in this little town where I used to grow up in named Muruana. He died and my grandfather and my grandmother, they died too. Um, when I lost my brother, it's changed me, but now my mom, she told us to live in town. So now we had to live in town, but it, like it changed like everything. Everything dropped dead for me, like boring. My auntie, she looked after me, but my mom, she went somewhere, my dad. But, and Robin, you still gonna be a lot of fun here with kids. You got lots of people here instead of Murawana. I like going to the bathroom courts or walk around and see my nana. And you can go to school. Watching Tickerbell. He's a baby. No, no, no. Hello. Yes, it's good looking at the baby because baby they so cute. Yeah, it's a very normal thing for kids. Have um, babysit your cousins, go out and play with your friends or in your in family. Or even just go visit your nana like every kid do. But it was more better when I was living at Moruana with all my family.
Well, I don't think it's better for everyone, but I guess better for me and my and my cousins. My family, they want to go back to the bush too, but it's going to be very hot. Um, yeah, it was getting very hot at bush. It was in no like no rain or not not even a like not even a cold breeze. So we had to move in town. Then everything changes. But after a couple of years, you come back to that spot you really like. So it'll still be the same what you remember, but everything will dry and hot. And you can't see you can't even can't see your favorite animals around you. Mm. But as you walk down to go to the fishing spot area, you see no water, just sand and rocks. You go to another different spot and you can see Spinifex, rocks, no water in the creek. So the same thing, move to a different spot. When the sun went down, we had to go spotlighting, go shooting for kangaroos. But we couldn't find no kangaroo, no dataki. No emu, so we had to come back home and just sit around. And every time you, you want to go somewhere, you, you get sad. It just it's just very sad. I really don't want to grow up because I want to look after my country while I'm still young. But you can't stop growing because you got to be a woman to go and do anything you want. But the one thing that's bothering me, I just don't want to leave my country. Thank you for all these people listening to my story about me and my family. And thank you for listening to me. Thank you.